I picked a really bad day to wear a white shirt. Hello my little gingerbread and today I was shopping in Walmart the other day or a little while ago and I came across all these Christmas gift things and like the the gift stuff and it was like the gift sets and stuff and I stumbled upon these elf ones. Dun, da, da. This is the elf all about nudes. 32 colored eyeshadow palettes, a concealer, and two brushes. There's that one. And this was $14.99. And then this was the e.l.f. Spotlight Ready 50 piece eye palette, eyes, and face palette. So it's got the eyeshadow and the bronzers and the blushes for I think $20. So we are going to review them, break them down, and see which ones are good, see if they're worth it, see if they're not. But if you are new to e.l.f. or if you're in Canada like me, e.l.f. is kind of hard to get your hands on. So I thought this would be a great way to try the e.l.f. products. So yeah, always look for those Christmas gift guides because Christmas gifts, not gift guides. Uh, because some of them packages, they might be really good at things you want to try and for cheaper. So, you know, why not? When I was actually in the store looking at these, they did have a third one of these. Um, it was a brush set, but it was also $14.99. And I was just like, it was a br it had a couple brushes and a makeup cleaner. But I was like, I feel like you guys, I would like these more. And I didn't already want to spend another $20, like $15 more to get that, to review it for you guys. Um, because I don't really use blush, blush, brush cleaners, and I already had like brushes like that. I was like, I don't really want any of the brushes, but I will insert a clip of right now of what all these look like in the store. So, yes. This is what this one looks like. It comes like this. We'll do them one by one. Um, so this is the All About Nudes palette one, and it comes with a what kind of brush is this? Does it say? Oh, per Elf Professional Eyeliner Blush brush. So it's just a little like a straight edge brush. I don't know if that would be good for eyeliner, but. I feel like it's, I don't know, I don't use eyeliner pencils, so I feel like, I don't know, it's very thin, so I don't really know how, how good that would be. Bad reviewer already, right there. <laughs> um, this is the e.l.f. Professionals Eyeshadow Brush, and good, because I was looking at one of these tonight, and I was debating whether or not to buy it, but I forgot I had one of these, so it feels pretty good. It feels like it would do a good job on this showy cheek eyeshadow. It's very soft. So, yeah, and I think these are usually like a dollar each. I got some at e.l.f. Um, when I was in the States, and I really like the brushes, so I'm excited to try these. It also comes with a concealer, which, oh, it's eyelid primer. Oh, I thought this was a concealer. It's an eyelid primer. So, just, uh, I don't know how well that would work or not. I don't really know. It's kind of clear. Feels like you could rub it in. Um, yeah. I don't know how good of a primer that would be. I've never really tried it. Um, never tried an eyeliner primer, so I don't know how well that would be. Maybe I'll try it after this video is done and I'll write down in here or in the description how well I think this works. Um, so, yes. Bad reviewer. Look at me. So bad. And now, of course, the piece de resistance we've all been waiting for in this video is this. Oh, it comes with <laughs> a little tiny mirror. That's really crappy. Um, it would almost kind of be nice if this was like a full length mirror. Is that a good mirror? Yeah, that's a pretty decent mirror. I guess it's kind of just enough for you to like see your eyes. It comes with the um, crappy sponge applicator. Fun times. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of nude colors. It's got some like colors over here, like the blue and the greens, that I would probably not wear. But let's just swatch the first three. Okay, none of these are showing up. Look at all these really like 
pale colors. I think only one showing up, but it may not even be up there. Let's try these vibrant purple. Purple. Ooh, with purple showing up, kind of nice. Let's see about blue. There we go. They're quite vibrant. They're a little chalky, um, but they blend out. It seems pretty good. They're a little chalky though, so I don't know how well they would blend, but they seem to be okay. There's that gold color, which I just swatched. This guy right there. A nice black right there. The browns seem to be showing up. The lighter colors are a little harder to see. They're not swatching the greatest, but so far they actually have really like really good color payoff for the most part of what I've seen. <laughs> There's my hand all like just swatching a lot. So I think so far I like this palette. I think it like the colors that I swatched um, showed up really nice. The lighter colors, the lighter shades were kind of harder to see, but um, the darker colors had lots and lots of pigments, so I definitely think if you are, I don't know about the prim eyeshadow primer, but I think the brushes, at least this one looks like it would be nice. I don't really use eyeliner ones, so, um, but yes, I think for $14.99 you get a lot of stuff. You get two brushes, an eyelid primer, and 30 blush uh, 30 eyeshadows that are pretty pigmented. So, and they're all like nudish, and then they've got some like bright, fun colors. So I'm really excited to try this, and it looks really nice. And I think it would be good for a beginner or someone who likes elf makeup or trying to get in the world or like really likes makeup. You know, I think it's a good, I think it's a good palette. It's got like a, a lot someone that likes nudes and then it's got a bit of fun and crazy colors. But yeah, I definitely like I think this is worth $15. I like it. And especially if you want to try elf, that'd be a good way to try elf products if you um you know wanted a couple brushes. I definitely think a beginner, a new to makeup girl would like this. Or someone who likes elf or just makeup in general, you know. Getting on to the next one, which is the Spotlight Ready 50 piece. It, look, it says eyes, lips, and face on it. Let's open this up. Okay, first of all, it has a giant mirror. There's a little camera. Hi, huh? you can see the rest of my room where it's sitting in my chair. Um, thing I don't like first impression right now is that you have to take this off to get this I was kind of hoping they would be kind of like two palettes um, but that's huge squares for blush and stuff but that's annoying it's kind of the really only thing I can see that I don't like here there's a lot of colors this one is not so neutral as the other one this one has more like your purples your blues a little bit of beige some pinks in here some like darker colors there's like this gorgeous green look at him Color let me get a little bit more on my hand there these guys aren't like the best like you have to go over a little bit but you can, it's buildable Let's see what this blue is like look at that look at that blue there's the blue um, let's try this purple over here they take they're a little buildable they're not like the strongest but they are very pretty um this swatch is sparkly black one. Very nice, very nice. I'm running out of fingers. Let's try this hand. So there's this nice green. He's not so he doesn't show up. 
just some nice skin right there. Right there. Other colors stretch a bit. I feel like the lighter colors, they just they don't show up as well on camera. Like I can kind of see that one there. It's hard to see. Look at that. Oh, nice color payoff there. I kind of like smudged it out a bit, but that's a nice color payoff, that brown. What does silver look like? Ooh, nice. Metallic y. These like aren't showing up as well on camera, but wow, that swatches really nicely. Let me just wipe my finger. So so far with the blushes, I am really happy with them. They seem like they work really well. I don't know if they're long wearing or not, but they do seem to swatch really nicely. Now let's look at this masterpiece. Can you see it? Maybe not showing up. This is a light blush. This is a very bright pink. It, they kind of have, have you ever seen on their website where they have their like four blushes in the thing? This is what they have and then they have um, a bronzer and a pink, a peachy um, shade. This is a very hot pink, this is a corally pink and this is a light pink. I usually go for more of the light pinks and then they have a whole bunch of bronzers so a really light bronzer which that'll probably be my color, a medium like a little darker beige and then a dark bronzer, and then a light, more, lighter bronzer, and then a light sparkly bronzer, and then kind of a caramelly color bronzer. I know that's not showing up on camera. Um, but, and then this is kind of like a creamy brown. So, let me just swap. That's the light pink right there. I don't know if you can see it. That's the corally color. That's the hot pink, and then that is a, that's a, that's a pinky coral, and that is like an orangey coral. Okay, I did not do this properly. There's the bronzers. There is the top one in the up top corner. That is the bottom one in this corner. Ah, it almost fell on me. Oh, that comes out too. Oh, that would be easier to hold. Okay, there. There we go. That's the darkest one. And then it goes down to there. So there we go. So, I do like this palette. I think it's really great. Um, the only thing, the only two things I have that I don't, the only thing I don't like about it is that these two aren't in its own separate thing because that'd be really nice if this was just like a big blush palette and then if this was just an eyeshadow palette instead of being one on top of another. But I think this is definitely a good gift. Um, for someone who is just starting into makeup, who likes makeup, or someone like a beginner, or someone who is, you know, trying, they're like, I don't really know what I like, what looks good on me, or they're stuck in a rut or something, and they want to try something new, or if they want to try e.l.f. products, because I mean, if you want to try e.l.f. products, I think this is a really good, like, the eyeshadows and the blushes. I think this in the bronzers is a really good one because you get a huge selection of um, colors. You get a big huge mirror um, and you get the blushes and the bronzers for $20 which I think um, I know yeah, Elf, is, Elf is pretty cheap uh, cheaper so like the four is like six dollars so that's already twelve dollars and then I think to buy the individual eyeshadows they're like two or three dollars so it's definitely worth a deal if you really want to get into makeup or something or looking for someone who likes makeup wants to buy some more elf products try some more things out or just a beginner because like this would be a really good beginner palette because it has so many color options they can see if they like the nudes if they like um, pinks if they want to do smoky eye if they want to do bright creative eye colorful eye I think this is a very good and as well for like find out what blush they like and what bronzer they like for themselves or you know what works or just trying what elf stuff in general um i think it is a very good thing that's the other thing i don't like is the fact that it doesn't come in like two and then you have to like kind of put it around that's the only thing i really don't like about this palette but other than that for 20 bucks i think it's a really good deal so which one of these two do i think is better i think if you know what you already like and you know you really like nudes 
and or the, you know, the person really likes nudes and they want to you know, try some more e.l.f. products or they want to try their brushes or you know their eye primer maybe you go for this one but I feel like if or a if you want to really try their stuff um, they're like eyeshadows and their blushes and bronzers or if you're a beginner I definitely recommend this one I think it's really good um, if you're shopping so in other words this one is good this I both I recommend both but I'd probably say um, go for this one more if you're a beginner or you want to try more of elf products because the brushes are only a dollar so I mean you're not wasting a whole lot of money but these ones I feel like it gives you a lot of a lot of product for your bang for your buck and this one it just has a couple brushes which are a dollar each and then the eye primer which is probably under six bucks and then a whole bunch of if you want nudes if you really like nudes I'd go for this one but if you want more of a selection and trying out new things um, I definitely say this one so hope you fly you guys like this review and hopefully you found it helpful and maybe you found some new Christmas gifts you could give to someone um, who knows I just thought these and I was like oh, I really want to try one of these I really want to get one of these for myself I was like hey why don't I make a video on these and try it get two and try you guys and then like review them for you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed this review and hope you found it helpful um, goodbye my gingerbread cookies bye Merry Christmas happy holidays Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Thanksgiving, Happy Thanksgiving, Happy Hanukkah, or whatever you celebrate. Just happy holidays. Mwah. Bye, guys. See you guys later. I wish this was in the background, but then it cuts off my head, so sad.